All right, here with Wyatt Rice of Logan Magnolia, your champion at 120 pounds. Uh, Wyatt, just take us through your day at Riverside and how it feels to get the, the title. Uh, just a, a tough day. The first two matches weren't too bad, but last match I was, I was getting pretty tired. But I ended up just getting it because I got one takedown. Taking on Jace Rose of Riverside, what was the secret in that match? Uh, I think it was just being able to block his shots and just not letting him in on me. Big day for you. Um, a good start to your freshman season. Is this kind of the way you drew it up? Uh, yeah, I thought it'd be pretty good. Well, what do you want to see from yourself going forward? Hopefully uh, qualify for state and place as high as possible. Your brother also claimed a title today. I'm sure that's got to be pretty cool. You guys probably had a lot of matches back and forth throughout the years. Yeah, it's really cool to see him place really high, and I, I know he'll do good. All right, Briar Rice, Logan Magnolia, your champion, 145 pounds. Briar, it wasn't, or 152 pounds, excuse me. Briar, it wasn't easy, but you got it done today. Uh, just walk us through your day. Well, you know, like I bumped up to 52, and I'm kind of small for that weight, but I knew if I stuck with my technique, I'd be able to pull it out, in which I eventually pulled it out there because I practice hard in the practice room, and I keep my conditioning up, and I think that really helped me there. Yeah, take us through that finals match, an exciting one with the, rank, uh, the second ranked kid in Class A from Nebraska. Um, that had to be a fun match. Um, you know, I knew going into it, it'd be a tough match because he was bigger than me and stuff, so I knew I had to stick with my technique. I knew if I kept pushing forward, I'd eventually gas him out, which I felt like he was getting gassed towards the end. I felt like that's why I won it there. Yeah, he's, I think he scored first, if I remember correctly, and then you kind of took over the momentum. What was going through your mind after giving up the first score? Well, I knew he, at first I knew he was kind of strong there when he took me down, so I knew I had to start getting my, uh, my down blocks better and stuff. I knew I had to control his, uh, control his hands better. So. And you guys go to overtime, an exciting back-and-forth battle there. Um, just walk us through overtime and kind of your mindset. Well, I knew like my conditioning would hold up in that, so I wasn't really too worried about that. I just worried about like, my uh, technique and just keep pushing forward because I knew he'd break. And I felt like he did break towards the end, and that's why I just kept pushing forward. That's where I won it. So. Championship performance as a team as well. What's this team like? Um, I feel like it's a lot better than it has been in the past few years. I think um, I, I can see some great things out of this team this year. So, You look ahead to the WIC tournament next week. It's going to be a fun one. What do you want to see from yourself between now and then to get ready? I'd like to see myself get some better conditioning and work on my technique more because technique more, I know he took me down a few times there, so I need to work on that. But besides that, um, just keep pushing forward and just go after it. All right, Coach, there's a lot of, there was a lot of really good teams here in Riverside tonight, but Logan Magnolia comes out on top. Um, I'm sure you got to be really happy of tonight. Yeah, I thought, we, uh, I thought we fought really hard today and up and down the lineup. Um, a lot of improvement from, from the last couple weeks and scoring points at almost every weight, so uh, that was important. Class A, uh, Nebraska Class A, Papio South here. Um, they've been really good this year, and a 118 beats them. Is that a win maybe for the little guys? Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, they, they finished ahead of us last year, and so did Lathrop. So, um, you know, we were hoping to, to turn that around, and they're really good teams here, you know, up and down the lineup. Lots of guys in the finals, a couple of champions. I'm sure you got to be happy with that. Yeah, some, some great matches, and even a few of the finals matches we lost were, uh, were really competitive, and, you know, there's a lot of good kids here. Breyer had an entertaining match, to say the least. Um, what were your emotions going through that match and then going into overtime? Yeah, so Breyer's got a great gas tank, and he, and he can go hard the whole way. But he got, he got down there early and really had to use a lot of his energy to get it back tied. And a lot happened in that overtime and double overtime. But he, he finds a way to win, so it was impressive. Big day from his little brother Wyatt as well. Um, has he kind of come along real nicely, you think? Yeah, Wyatt's really solid, and you know our, our little guys up and down that group are, are very good and have been performing very well, so hopefully uh, we keep improving. How do you guys try to build off of today's performance going forward with you know a big week next week with the WIC duels and then the tournament on Saturday? Yeah, we're, we're still kind of at that stage where we're really stressing, uh, getting better every match and trying things and not focusing that much on results, but uh, if we fight like that and perform like that, then uh, hopefully things will go well for us. Congratulations, Coach. We'll see you next week. Yep. Thank you very much.